Hi, welcome here. This video will show you how do you uh, actually use my WordPress themes, how to set up, actually how to set up the sales page templates of these uh, WordPress themes. I'm as I'm assuming you you're using WordPress 2.7.1 or later, and uh, when you when you finish uploading the themes to the uh, WordPress. This is what you can see here in this screen on your control panel. Okay. So you click on appearance and then themes you will see blue themes and red themes and green themes. You if you upload those three up to your uh, uh, WordPress installation. Okay. And you, well, for for the, for demonstrating purpose, I'm going to choose the blue themes. When you click on it, you loading, keep loading. When you finish keep when you finish keep loading, you see something similar here. This is similar because I have actually changed the appearance of the themes. Okay. Let me see some other things here, but uh, this is basically what you s you see gray screen here, but it's not important. Just just press activate, press activate, and you got your the themes activated. Okay, once you've got that done, you actually go to the uh, themes editor, appearance themes, and then press on the edit editor. You see these here the template the sales page etc etc okay actually you want to change something because I actually have the uh, banner on I have modified my one so you want to modify your one as well just do some slight slight modification it's not hard it's very easy you go to the header you click on the header uh, function Actually, go to these. Let me re-scroll that. Actually, go to the uh, star sheet. Let me repeat again. You go to the appearance, go to editor, and go to style sheet dot CSS, and you locate the header advert. Just just put header advert. Okay. If you're using Firefox, basically you press on Control F for your on your keyboard, and then bring up the Find uh, on the Firefox button, the bottom uh, navigation bar, and then you type in header advert like this one here. Type in that word here, and you locate a block, which is the banner, the gray banner on your themes. You comment it out using a forward slash s control eight on your keyboard, and then at the end of the curly brackets, put an another star and then forward slash again to close the comment. At this, actually, you will see. Let's go back to my themes. You will see. Just one moment, sorry. Okay. When I reload my uh, WordPress, you see there's no banner here. Because actually I comment that section out. You see something like that, make money on those frozen chains, my block name. You will see your block name. There's no banner. That's why, why uh, because the design actually include the banner in the sales letter section, which you don't want to do that. Okay, so you want to comment out, and they had the advert part of the CSS out using the forward slash star and then f f star forward slash to close the comment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically just can delete this part. You don't leave, you don't you don't have to leave them there, okay? This is the first thing you want to do. After all, when you've got that done, actually you can use the sales page over there. So how how you can use the sales page? 
basically the word class they have there are two parts which you can write something on one is called pages and one is called post okay for this one you don't want it to use post you want to use page so you click on the pages button here okay after finish loading you see here it's got sales page okay add new click on add new and uh, because this is for demonstration you could let them let it load when you click on new click new add new you will actually add this page called sales page this is what my uh, demonstration my sales page on the block when you download that theme you'll see that page over there okay. this is that page you just name it on a capital S sales page S A L E S P A G the spell like that and then you can actually format it using a visual editor or HTML editor for for your format let's say you want to do a, a visual one to be like as you can see it's not very look very nice okay so I use HTML editor I know some HTML but use visual like this one like uh, you can uh, I found on like what heading uh, the format of heading like bold, italic, etc. and then stick on a photo on some graphs on and your uh, on the form there I, I basically use this chapter or you can basically outline outline this source code using HTML editor uh, like an view a free one or a Dreamweaver to have your format done and then copy and paste the code over here that's it once you've done that save it well this update page up, update page this is for your sales page for this version later on I think I will upgrade it so that you can actually search and really as he search engine optimized because it's called sales page and normally people just don't search the, this keyword in the search engines sales page uh, I don't know well how many people actually use this word to search I don't think there's there are many honestly so this needed to be changed but for my second version update maybe uh, yeah I've got the up uh, got got update later on when I have time or yeah okay let's see uh, let's give you some ex example on how it looks when it's done the uh, well that's not the page I want to see the page okay preview sorry about that so click on preview this is the page you will see when you want to download these themes on this download link here you can actually download the themes with this link here later on but this is what you can see for the sales page because well I used HTML format and it messed up my form here I just be a center one and then it messed up my headline there as well so uh, uh, it doesn't look like very looks very nice anyway this is how it done with the sales page with my WordPress themes so uh, for five days only till actually till July the uh, 10th you can get different themes for a cost of zero yeah, you can get it for free but uh, you have to hurry and get and visit this link over here yeah copy this link down and then visit that link Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.